What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Bryce with The Real Squad. Hope you're having a good weekend. Mine's going pretty cool. Just got out the theater, checking out that menu. This is directed by Mark Malad, I believe his name is. He did, um, well, he has writer's credits and director credits for Game of Thrones, Succession, and Shameless. So, pretty interesting guy. Um, the cast, it's a star-studded cast. We have Honor Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Hart, Ralph Finese, John Leguizamo, list goes on. A lot of actors, those are just the top guys I recognize. But um, I'm going to let you know now, non-spoiler review, just going to let you know how I felt about it going in and coming out, and if I recommend this movie. First off, I know you've seen the trailer, hopefully you saw the trailer. The trailer does not reveal too much, but it does let you know this is going to be some type of horror suspense. And just from that, I'm going to go ahead and say it does have horror, it does have suspense, but it also throws in mystery and comedy. But comedy with a capital C, because this shit was so funny. This was a funny movie, but also very scary. You can feel the tension uh, building in this. But let me just give you like the basic synopsis. So, um, Honor Taylor Joy and Nicholas Hawk's character are like couples. Uh, they're, uh, I think Honor Taylor Joy is Margot, and he's Tyler. And Tyler is like a super food critic nerd. Like, Take a comic book nerd and just turn him into a food guy, and that's what you got. He knows everything you, there is to know about food and just the best chefs out there. And so he has been invited, and he has, I think he can bring one guest, which is Margot, his girlfriend. And they're invited to this island where this top chef, played by Ralph Finese, I forgot his name in the movie already. Damn. <laughs> I just watched it too but um, he's the top chef and he's invited a select few people famous critics actors influencers ballers you name it it's not a lot of them but like a good 10 of them are invited to this island to have this once in a lifetime experience to experience what they call the menu and uh once they get to this island, and Honor Taylor Joy's character, Margot, I feel like this is the audience character. We're seeing everything kind of through her eyes, because just like her and for us, this is, we don't, we have never seen anything like this. This is all brand new experience. So for her, she doesn't know what's going on. So it's nice to be able to follow her and to see like the ridiculousness and craziness of the levels they go to in this food industry. And I feel like food critics or foodies are going to like this even more or like, I'm pretty sure they're going to like it because, man, they had some. <laughs> they was going hard with the food lore. I'm going to say that because I'm not a huge foodie myself, but I'd be knowing some things. And they was going deep with the the names of the food. Uh, certain scenes would start off with the title of the food being presented. It was just very interesting. But let me talk about um, Ralph Finese's character as the chef and his, I'm gonna, I would say, like his partner or not not his, his sous chef, but the person that's running the floor, and that's played by, um, her name is Hong Cha. I believe I'm saying her name right, hopefully. But her in the movie, her name is Elsa. Man, the only other movie I've seen her in, I mean show, was the Watchmen show just recently. And I feel like she annoyed me in there, but I did like the show. But she is so sinister and funny in here. It's crazy, but it's so funny because she's scary, but she is funny. Like, it's hard to describe. I guess you can say it's not like dark. I guess dark humor. Yeah, it's dark humor. And the way I, she keeps this this certain look on her face, it just, I love it. It's a chef, chef's kiss, however they say it. <laughs> but um, yeah, throughout the movie as each course, because I think it's a, a six course meal, and each course, you can feel weird tension building. And just the way the chef and all the other chefs react to them, or to him, the head chef, Ralph Finesse's character, he's like a god to them. And so just being in his presence for them is like a blessing. And so it's crazy to see like this occult type of culinary school uh, and they all stay on this island. It's just... It's just crazy because once it starts, once the movie starts going and you see the direction it's going in, people start dropping like flies and things just start happening like 
wait a minute, is this real or just all? And it's played to be all a part of the menu. So I just, this was an interesting watch. Um, Nicholas Holt's character, oh my gosh. This guy, man, I wanted to punch him in his face so many times. <laughs> but I know when the character makes me mad, he's doing a good job. And Honor Taylor Joy, I mean, what can I say? I follow a lot of her movies. She seems to pick really good ones, I would say. I don't know about that one X-Men movie uh, with that one slide. Her character was still dope. I don't even remember. The, what, what was that? Who, who cares? But, um, yeah, man, her in here, it just, and following her character is pretty fun. It, it makes the movie really fun, and it does get scary, and you get worried, and it, it, you get worried about the other characters. Um, John uh, Liguizano's character, um, he plays like an old actor, funny enough. And <laughs> it's just, he, I don't want to say he plays himself, but he somewhat plays himself. And it's fun to see him in a movie like this. So, I mean, every, all the acting is A1. Everybody did a really good job. Nothing quite threw me off. If I had, if I had to pit some complaints in there, it would be, I, I might have to say I might have, maybe I wanted a little bit more. And that's not really a knock on it that's just saying that i mean it wasn't I, yeah i wanted more it was i left happy but i just wanted a little bit more because the movie is not super long it's really short and uh, the ending i like the ending uh it's getting really hard to close um scary movies these days and like the last movie um barbarian uh, although it was pretty good i didn't really agree with the ending like that but with this I think I like the ending. I think I like the ending a lot more than Barbarian. And uh, as I was leaving the theater, I thought about one other movie I could really kind of compare it to because of like the style and the direction it went in uh, was Pearl. And I like Pearl. It's a little bit more just because it focused on her particular character and um, Mia Goff killed that. And so with this, it followed multiple characters. You kind of, not multiple characters, but I mean, mostly uh, Honor Taylor's Joy's character, but you had a lot of characters and a lot of personalities in here to, um, to grab or gravitate towards. And it, it all still worked, but I just know when that, um, that Pearl Mia Golf was able to capitalize on it, mostly being about her. But um, all in all, I, I enjoyed it, just not as much as I did Pearl, but I definitely liked it more than Barbarian. If I had to give it a rating, Scale 1 to 10, obviously. I would give it an 8 out of 10. A solid 8 out of 10. I believe I gave Pearl a 9 out of 10. So, hey, man. That's saying a lot. I'm telling you. Don't be sleeping on these 8s. Because <laughs> this is crazy. Um, but, yeah. Uh, all I can say is maybe I wanted a, a little bit more. And I wanted maybe, maybe just a little bit more blood. But I, I believe this was rated our movie. And definitely shows because it was some wild stuff happening i definitely had my jaw dropped a few times like what wait what <laughs> so uh do i recommend uh the menu yes i do i think you guys should definitely check this one out um hopefully you will if you have let me know in the comments uh what you think about it if you're going to go see it let me know in the comments and hey if you hated it let me know in the comments it is okay to comment and they help a lot definitely hit that like button and if you're new here please uh trying to build the channel it's getting up there we moving i appreciate you guys and i never say this but check out check me out on social media at the real squad on uh instagram and tiktok i'm gonna pull that up too yeah man come tap in on me on the socials but i appreciate you guys tapping in with me pulling up for the reviews try to keep it quick for you it's been real with the real squad and i'm out